Welcome to the 2018 award ceremony. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> you guys clapping over there? No clapping. <laughs> All right, so a couple of things we're going to go over. Here's some things. Uh, number one, Farmers Insurance Agency for most policies sold. Huge accomplishment for us. We'll go over the award winners from last year. And we're going to have a very special announcement at the uh, end of the meeting that's going to... Um... No, it's a good thing. It's a uh, special announcement that's going to um, be a little change for us, but um, something that's going to be a big uh, adjustment for us, but something to uh, look for how we're going to do uh, business starting 2000 uh, this year oh all right so uh, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about we finished the, uh, the year 2018 as the number one farmers insurance agency most policies sold uh, this isn't the first time we did it we did it in 2014 and 2015 uh, but yeah being able to accomplish that is a huge accomplishment for us if you guys ever struggle with like self-belief or um, don't have confidence, then I think you guys should all be proud that you guys are working at an agency that's winning. There's a lot of, type of different types of businesses that are winning and a lot of types of businesses that are losing. It may not make a big difference right now, but in the long term, that's gonna make a difference, big time difference. Because long term, can you really expect yourself to win if you're working at a place that's not doing well? They're probably not looking to hire. They're probably not looking to get raises. They're probably not looking to get leads. So you guys are, should be very proud that you guys get hired, you know, committed, is still here, stayed out of trouble, didn't get fired. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you guys did right to be at this point. So I want to give all of you guys a round of applause. All right, so let's get right into the winners now. Uh, the first winner, uh, you got to make a lot of sacrifices. Um, not only for the business, but she also makes sacrifices for you guys. So I want to say thank you to Risa. Yeah. <laughs> you should be listening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's not listening at all. <laughs> I was, I was coming from the heart too. <laughs> she was not even listening. <laughs> and uh, we've been um, coming up with good stuff that's going to help us for 2019. Uh, let's give it up for Cherry. Thank you, Cherry. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Say congratulations to Kathy. Here you go. Thank you, uh, say thank you and congratulations to Maria. I should have had these unwrapped first. There you go. Uh -huh, thank you, Maria. Part of our business, but I would like to say uh, she's a big part of our family too. <laughs> and who can do that? Only. <laughs> Thank you, John. Not a lot of people could do that. <laughs> Only you, John, probably. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry, Alejandro, you just started in 2018, so you don't get an award. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's one month, but you get the 2018. Still contributed. <laughs> That was a joke, sorry. <laughs> Let's give it up to Alejandra. <laughs> so I had a contest out there in the beginning of the year. I said, hey, 2018, we're gonna have a cross sell award winner of the year. Um, and let's see who wins it. And the numbers don't lie. Uh, the winner was Calia de la Cruz. <laughs> Thank you, Calia. 2018 uh, Leadership Award is presented to Jasmine. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. All right. 
most phone calls, 7,756 phone calls. Guess how much more than second place? 3,000 more than second place. So that's by a lot. <laughs> a lot of phone calls there. Okay, that, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how much I believe in Blanca, and thank you for proving me right. Congratulations, Blanca. Making sure this is the right one. Yep, there you go. Thank you. All right, so last but not least, also very team friendly, but she's also very competitive too. And you can't be not competitive to win Agent of the Month every single month and become the Agent of the Year four times now. Thank you very much, Laura Martinez. Here you go. All right, thank you, Laura. So uh, yeah, we have some big winners here. You know, some special agents we I gave out awards to, but uh, I want to share with you guys, you know, something that's most important to me right now. Okay, for all these winners, we couldn't have done it without each other. Right? It's all about teamwork. Um, Laura and I have seen a lot of people come and uh, go through here. And I feel like, you know, it sucks to say, but they kind of fucked up on this opportunity. And a lot of times, the reason they fucked it up is because they couldn't get along with others. It was either an ego thing, they couldn't get along with somebody. You know, they didn't like someone. And I'm very proud to say right now is probably our teamwork and team culture is the best it's ever been. Do you guys agree? I talked to you guys about it at the review. Everybody didn't say one bad thing about nobody. <laughs> um, and our teamwork is at a good place right now. But that's gonna be super important moving forward because we really can't do this without each other. Like every single one of us. So even though some people get you know awards, well this year we were number one for the whole uh, nation, so we all got awards, but we really have to stick with each other uh, because anyone who's successful they, could, they didn't do it themselves. Name one person that became successful themselves, all by themselves, or even happy by themselves. To be successful, you either need to create a team or be part of a winning team. You just can't do it alone. So let's look at each other and really value each other for what we do, because without each other, I couldn't pay the rent here, I couldn't pay the salaries here. So you guys are truly helping each other out. And that's why it's so important moving forward that we have a team that sticks together and um, helps each other moving forward if you want to keep building on uh, what we have going on so far. Um, anyone want to add to what you guys think is important to teamwork? Getting along, Getting along with each other. Complimenting each other. Complimenting each other is a good one. You know, hey, nice sale, nice shoes. I don't know. You look nice today. You look nice today. <laughs> yeah, that goes a long ways, right? Yeah. Okay. Love that one, Jazz. Complimenting each other is a really good one. Only if you really, you know. Don't, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't be fake about it. What else? Helping each other. Helping each other. Yeah. You know, some people know more about this and other people know more about that. You know, and not, you know, just helping each other is a big, big deal, I feel like. Hey, this person helped me. That's going to be making you want to help others later or maybe help them in certain other way, in, diff in different ways that you can help. Everybody can help each other. Everybody can really help each other in different ways. Thank you, Jazz. What else? How to be a better teammate. Have a positive attitude, yeah. Because you know what? There's everybody has their positive and their negatives. You know, I could all sit here and be like, oh, this person is like that. And I could really nitpick and find negative things about each person if I wanted to. But what really helps me be nice, which is all about teamwork, it's just being about nice, actually, is by looking at each person and saying, thinking about the positive thing about them. Well, this person does this, this person does that. And looking at the positive side of everything, or particularly that person, is gonna make you a better teammate because you're just in a positive mode and you're not gonna be um, you know, negative, looking at their negatives, but looking at their positives. So Laura, that's a great one. Anyone, anything else, guys? A couple things also I think is that we, uh, number one uh, rule is uh, also don't hate, okay? That's when a lot of bad teamwork starts ha happening. People start hating others for jealousy. 
you know, sometimes it's even worse if a, a hater will recruit another person to be, hey, let's both hate on this person. <laughs> okay, that, that's like when we have a cancer in the office. When someone's like, hey, let's not like this person. Yeah, you too. Okay, I'm gonna make this person, this person, not like this person. That's when things go bad. Okay, so number one, don't hate. Okay, don't just, just be, it's the same thing as being nice and being positive, but that's really the extreme version of really being on the bad side. Uh, hmm? Fair enough. Okay, <laughs> you can hit our numbers, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, yeah, Jazz, you're not here for sure. Number two is um, humility. Okay. Sometimes when you're doing good, you know, you have to have, um, you know, let, let your ego aside. I think a lot of agents I've seen in the past had their ego get out of control. They thought they were the shit. And then that made them really hurt as a person, you know. So as I grow as a business owner and farmers is saying, oh my God, your numbers are inc incredible. Come speak here. You know, you're number one. You're the best. I am committed to staying humble for you guys, for every single one of you guys. Right? So if I'm going to do that, then I think we all can do that too, right? So being humble and understanding that we have a lot of work to be done and not letting our ego get uh, in our way is very important when it comes to like reaching another level of success. Once you think you've reached it, and you think you're better than everybody, that's when teamwork starts going bad. And you start treating others lower than you and stuff like that. That's what I really don't want to see in this office. All right, so teamwork, okay? Teamwork's gonna be very important moving forward. Um, and then just a couple tips on, you know, uh, how to um, do better. I think one thing I could say uh, about Laura and Blanca, um, and everybody really that has helped me, but one way to really get more opportunity to make more money and really help out, just a tip here that I don't really share with you guys a lot, is to really bring a lot of value to the office place, to me. Okay, a lot of people don't do this at their work. They really just wanna do whatever they have to do and they get their wage in return. The trick is to make more money or to get more opportunity at work is to provide so much value to me where I'm like, where you're doing so much for me where I'm like, I start feeling guilty. This person is doing so much for me, I better do something back for her. You wanna almost make me feel like I owe you. This is a very difficult place to get. Right? And that's when there's gonna be more opportunities, more things I'm gonna do, more leads, more whatever the opportunity is. But a lot of people, they go to their work and say, hey, you know, I just, I don't, I just don't wanna do more than, what's, more than what's asked for me to do. They just wanna do the bare minimum. And it's no wonder the business owner is not gonna think like, oh my God, I really wanna help this person. Because that person's not helping either. I mean, they're, do they're helping, but it's a fair exchange. Where you're bringing more than what you're asked to do, that's when I'm gonna, you almost wanna guilt me into like helping you. <laughs> Make sense? So that's what I think people uh, have done where um, I feel like I owe it to you guys to be able to uh, do, do great. And, so, and third of all, when it comes to teamwork, also just focus on the money, right? At the end of the day, that's what we're here to do, right? We're, we're here to make money for our families and that's what, or for yourself or whoever you wanna help out. But we're here to make money, so let's keep that focus in our heads. Looking at 2019 and start uh, getting ready to put in the hard work because uh, the, the, tr the key is going to be just two things, okay? One, just um, let's work hard. Let's work hard, bring so much value that I'm going to be like, oh shit, I have to give this person back something. I have to give this person more respons responsibility. I have to give this person more leads. They really are doing something for me. So make me in a position that I feel guilty, that I have to help you back. And number two, don't fuck it up. All right, thank you. Special announcement. Oh, sorry, yeah, special announcement. All right, so we're having a lot of Spanish speakers in our agency. Like, I don't know what the percentage is, but we're doing a lot of Spanish speaking you know, customers, right? And then they get these documents and they say, uh, Dan, Keto Jim, and they see my face on there. And then it's like not really that, um, you know, it's still good that, you know, you guys helped them, but I don't really talk to any of the clients. So I told farmers that, hey, is there any way like we, I could change the branding of our agency? Like, I don't want it to like just be just me, you know, because we have so much Spanish speakers. So this is something me and Cherry came up with and I'm surprised I got approval for, but I was able to change the name of the agency starting 2019.
You guys want to know what the name is? This is serious, guys. You don't pronounce the J. Yeah, you go. No, I didn't get approval on, on it yet. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>